your girl Roderica B back at it again with another YouTube video. And today I got my cousin with me. Introduce yourself. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Uh, it's a big core. Is this yeah, this is a YouTube name. His name on YouTube is NCB Core. Is it NCB Core, NCB underscore core? Like what? NCB Space. All count, core. NCB. It don't matter. Base I'm gonna put it on the screen right here for y'all. What type of videos do you make? Oh, uh, I make Fortnite videos and sometimes I put my rap songs on them. So yeah, he really ain't got nothing to do with my channel. He just wanted to be in my video. <laughs> And to be honest, I really don't even know what the video finna be about. I'm just making the intro because he wanna be in my intros. And uh so I guess I find out what this video is about whenever I decide to record it. But um <laughs> oh. Okay guys, it's been about two days now and I finally figured out what I'm gonna do a video about. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I take pictures of my products for my website and for my Instagram. Now, I'm gonna put up a screen recording of me taking my picture so I can get the full effect. Okay, you guys, so, oops. What I like to do is I take my product, I usually, I really just got the idea to do it on this white background. I usually use the, um, the, gold background but let's see how it looks on the white so i always put it in square mode because when putting on instagram it needs to be in a square so basically i just take a box and a lash and just sit up like that and hold the focus increase the exposure so i get that nice white background and boom Turn down a little bit. Then I like to take my picture at different angles. So you can see the lash. Oh, too bright, too bright. Bring it down, bring it down. And yeah, something like that. I also like to, let's see, I can take a picture of the lash just by itself. Increase the brightness, the exposure, so I can get that nice white. Yeah, I'm telling you, angles are everything. Folks like to see the product from all different types of angles. And I feel like that white background will really make it stand out on like the Instagram or even on the website. So I brought, I brought some more boxes over here. Let you see. You can see the inside of the box. And then I can set the lash up like that. Actually, I'd rather have it to where the logo is sitting up in the picture. Like that. Look at the lash. Put uh, the lash inside of there. Set it up. Make sure the exposure is good so it's nice and bright. Okay, that's enough with this white paper. Oh, and this is just, you know, plain white paper. I don't know what this cloud is looking like on the actual camera because I'm just looking at it from the watch it. Anywho, another thing I like to do is incorporate both boxes. I have both boxes in there. Put the lash in the box. Like I said, I put the camera on square. So everything looks great. The lash is crooked. All right, there we go. The exposure. If you hold it, it puts on auto focus, auto exposure. Lock. And then take the pictures. all kinds of angles but you gotta make sure the lash is the main focus of the picture guys I originally tried to take my picture like this 
and it didn't look right when I tried to take it like this before but it actually looks kind of decent now so I'm gonna take it like this on just this gold background this is actually kind of cute okay guys so I decided to just screen record the whole process of me editing the pictures so the first app I really only use one app, and that'll be Visco, and that's because I really don't do too much to my pictures. So what I would do is you hit the little plus sign up there, and let's choose a picture, maybe this one, hit import, and then you're going to hit this little line at the bottom with two dots on it, yeah, and pretty much the only thing I do is I go in... Sometimes I play around with the contrast, but I don't want it to be looking too dark or too light. So for this one, I'll probably just leave the contrast alone. And then I go to sharpen to make it look, of course, sharper. And, you know, just zoom in so you can see. See how it looks dull and then it starts to sharpen up. I don't want it to look too sharp because then it starts looking fake. So we're going to go to where it's dull and then go right to where it starts getting sharp and then you're good see see the difference is dull and then you, yeah you get what i'm saying all right and then the next thing i play around with is clarity and that pretty much just makes the picture a lot clearer to see you see even though you adjust the sharpness it still looks kind of dull so you do a little clarity and it makes it look a whole lot better. And then that's the before. And this is the after. Before. After. And that's pretty much all I play with. Let's try one that has a white background. Let's try this one. I'm going to go through the same thing. Now with this one with the white background, what I like to do is go in with the black and white filter since the lashes are black the background is white the black and white filter works great and it makes the background look a whole lot whiter as you can see it looks yeah but we can go and turn it down some so so the lashes don't look too i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say but you want your background to look a lot whiter. And then we go into sharpen. Like I said, zoom in and find right when it starts to get a sharp look. And then you can stop it right there. And then we go into clarity. And bam. See? And this is how it looked before. And this is what it looks like now looks a lot better and then another thing you can do is once you edit a picture let's say we import this one one thing that visco can do is you go here you click on that picture you click copy edits unclick it and click on the next one you import it and click paste edits and now it's edited the exact same way so if you plan on editing your photos the exact same way using the exact same things you can just copy and paste the edits but we can delete that one. And then you can go click all those. Save the camera roll. Actual size. And yeah, from there you're pretty much done. This is what they look like. I think they turned out pretty good. So, as you can see by the title, I have an announcement for you guys. So, my website is going to be launching this Friday, May the 10th, and <laughs> this night. Okay, and um, yeah, if you go and sign up for my mailing list, I'm giving y'all 20% off y'all purchase on lunch day. Now, here's the thing. Now, the coupon code is only valid on lunch day, which is May the 10th. So, click the link in the description down below and go sign up and get you 20% off your purchase on Friday, May the 10th.
and that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel and to his channel. Tell me again what your name is. It should be cool. I'll put it on the screen again for y'all. And I will see you in the next one.